This podcast is part of the Zeo to Hero Podcast Network. You stay right here. The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you always. We heard the voices. We can hear them. We can touch them. We're going to find out who they really are. Well, now that's a terrible idea. I'm going to do that one more time because I felt like I sloshed it. Really, tell me more. I'm baiting now. Like, I'm just reeling it in. Like, tell okay. me more about that. All right. Stroke her ego. Stroke her ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The lighting, <laughs> the strokes. Yeah, the yeah. Pen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, wait, me. Really? wait. But are you hooked on tonics? Hooked on tonics? Probably not. Wait. <laughs> wait. Oh, it's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It was a great podcast episode. Thank you, guys. Good night. We can't yeah, top that one. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, all right. See you later. All right. (laughs) Bye. As I am scrolling through Entertainment Earth, I see the uh, Ginyu Force is all for order. Oh, no. uh, Individuals? Yeah, they're individually, but uh, welcome back to another episode of Zeo to Hero, where I'm Billy, and I'm always joined by my knuckleheaded brother, Jim. I have decided to not call him Yeti anymore, because we have found a new Yeti. <sighs> Who's a new Yeti? I can't tell you. It's a secret. I'm an operative. So, you know, if I tell you, then you gotta go, you know? I I, I feel personally attacked. Like, I don't know do my life anymore. I, I, I don't know. Don't worry, Jim. We can always leave you at the... What's the cutoff age at, like, abandonment at a fire station? Uh, I believe that's 86. Okay, you're well within it then. All right, cool. That's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll do that this weekend. I'll find the nearest nearest uh, fire station, leave you right at the doorstep. Wait, 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 wait. Can we find one that's quick and chilly so I can critique their chili and be like, this stuff is crap? Well, and then they get mad at me make, and throw me out? If you, if you want to make mortal enemies with people that are going to... First ones are running a burning building for you, then sure, go ahead. Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> okay. I don't, I, I don't <laughs> think you understand the complexity of my life. <laughs> this I, means uh, so much. I see it, <laughs> but okay. Uh, tonight, okay, we have okay, a guest. okay, okay. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you a story real quick. I'll, oh, I'll, I'm telling you a story. Liz is like, we're gonna go, we're gonna go like an 18 hour trip to Michigan. I'm like, right, I'm gonna bring them a brisket. She's like, you can't bring them a brisket. I'm like, you don't understand how much of my life is. <laughs> I'm over 30. I got like three things. I collect toys, I do tech, and I make smoked meats. What do you think I'm going to (laughs) do? I got nothing else outside that. Let me have this. (laughs) Jesus, woman. (laughs) All right. So, okay. So tonight we're going to, we're going to, we're going to draw inside the line. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to pun this together here. Um, I'm going to leave all those in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Leave it all in. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna draw inside the lines. We're gonna keep. I. Mm. You're gonna draw outside the lines and make Push it beautiful. Push through it. Yeah, yeah. Push through oh! it. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, oh she's gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you screwed up, bad buddy. Man. Real bad. She's gone. <laughs> she's gone. That lady named Todd is like, nope. I'm out of here. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Hey. All right, let's do it. All right, we were All talking right. about trying to get a pun in. Yeah, it wasn't getting. Re- it was not real punny, but we like to welcome on one of our most creative. Ah, uh, I say creative guests. You know, they say the sword is mightier than the pen, or the pen's mightier than no. the sword. I messed that up. How did I mess that up? No, but no, I don't no. Know. She's oh. the most stylish. No, stylist guest. Stylist. Stylist guest. Oh, that's a good there one. There we go. I don't. Okay, I'm very disappointed. You're welcome. Take, not take that much. from the top. Take okay. this from the top. All right. No, we're we're rolling through it. <laughs> we're rolling through this. All right. <laughs> so, I uh, would like to like to welcome on one of our new guests, Ton. Hi, Ton. Hey, all. How's it going? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, oh, that's a deep question to ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so we met you. I saw you on TikTok. I loved your artwork and. uh Love your your Power Rangers 
basically your concepts and your theories, and that's what got me hooked on that because you had some really deep thoughts. And then I started watching your artwork, and uh, you have a like very unique art, by the way, like your art style. Really, tell me more. I'm baiting now, like I'm just reeling it in. Like, tell okay. me more about that. All right, stroke her ego, stroke her ego. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, the lighting, the strokes. Mm, yeah, <laughs> the yeah. Pen. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, wait, me. Really, they... wait. But are you hooked on tonics? Hooked on tonics? Probably not. Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, it's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It was a great podcast episode. Thank you guys. Good night. We can't yeah, top see you that later. one. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right. All right. See you later. All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>「Do you want to be a hero, but you're not?" Boy, how how do you do? What a day. How do you how do you do? But yeah, you definitely found me and then I was like, look at that icon. Look at how much color is in that icon. This seems like my type of people right there. Mhm. All right, you yeah, us drew that. A, the heads we up. Didn't draw neither that. of us did that. We are not <laughs> we are not artistic at all. Look at look no. at my setup. It looks terrible. <laughs> the partner Liz did that. She, she, knocked if, it. she knocked it apart. <laughs> if your listeners could see our video, like I would love for them to guess which one of us is the artist because, like, my backdrop is oh. my white ass wall with a popcorn like texture. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 lots of roof. If if the croc <laughs> hasn't been on in the foot though, hey. mm -hmm. yeah. Did you see that they uh, created a new croc uh, uh, attachments of an 810 warthog, and they're calling it the 810 croc hog? No, <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me if I've seen like the Demon Slayer collaboration with crocs, which I definitely have. Definitely getting some. I'm going to. You got to. Exactly. Maybe one of each. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember, I, yeah. Do you remember, do you remember that movie, Idiocracy? Oh, I don't movie? know if you were. You don't remember that movie? No one remembers that movie? Okay. I remember the movie. Okay, so the set designer was like, we need to have something that's so ridiculous looking that no one's ever going to wear it and makes no sense And for the shoes. They're like, no, no, no. And they're like, okay, we're going to find this ridiculous looking thing. And they found Crocs. They're like, this is the most ridiculous looking shoe we could find. No one's ever going to wear these. And here we are now. 2023. All mm. across America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 2024 what, the year of the croc what they say is like sucker free 2023 man but yeah what's 2024 i don't know but i'm not gonna get into that because I, I apparently i got I it i got it puns, I got, so i got it i got it cry in the corner 24 you're on a roll tonight I, I don't just, know what's I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> You're like I'm just imbued with this power and responsibility to carry this podcast and their puns right now. <laughs> yeah, that's I, what it I, is. I yeah. don't know what's going on. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God, what is this? <laughs> is there <that> high hyperventilating? <laughs> it's, it's the warehouse demons. Yeah, oh, yeah. You. <laughs> that's what it is. Jesus. They're giving them good sight of thoughts. Oh my God. <laughs> Good side. Right. Okay. Okay. But so, let's break this down. Ah, uh, when did you start drawing? Like, like. Oh my know? God! Just jumping like that. Oh yeah. my God! <laughs> Give me your deepest seated fear from your childhood yeah. now. Now on the drop. It's okay. I prepared for this. Work like that question interview. in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work uh, on make it. it. Like, start with, like, what's your favorite kind of drawing utensil? And then go into, like, when did she start drawing? Come on, man. Right, 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 right. <laughs> what's then your deep favorite color? Yeah. yeah, then you, you slide into what childhood trauma gave you the uh -huh. motivation to keep going in life. Yeah. Cool. It'd be or like, do you still talk color. to your parents or no? Yeah. <laughs> God. <damn. laughs> wow. <laughs> Heard your dog died. Now what? <laughs> I heard you were heard, an alcoholic. <laughs> I uh, heard IRS. Uh, heard IRS has been sending you a tax return that you haven't yeah. paid. <laughs> uh, oh. But no, I I started drawing. I, I don't have a really good story about it. I just remember drawing on the walls and then getting like disciplined for it. And Oops. then they got me like one of those. Um, you remember those toys where it has like the, the magnetic fillings in between, oh. and oh, then yeah. you, like you draw with yeah the pen. And they're like, all right, we don't have to pay for pencils. 
paper marker she's happy and distracted mm. that was my ipad i was the like prototype ipad baby yeah <laughs> and then yeah <laughs> and then from there like i remember so vividly around i don't know like kindergarten first grade or something like i saw sailor moon on toonami for the first time and okay. it wasn't yeah like Anime was not mainstream. Like kids these days, they got it made because like I mm -hmm. had to bootleg it myself with like whatever skills I had that time. And I remember drawing it in class, like making my own merchandise. And somebody said, "Is that a bear?" Racially motivated somehow. Like I, it was awful for me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like I made my own Sailor Moon drawings that I took to school. I like taped it on my little lunchbox over Grimace, which I guess if I could find that again, it could make mean millions by now because everybody loves wow. grimace mm -hmm. uh and then now jump forward to 2023 i'm still making my own merchandise that i don't see like sold anywhere and i'm like i guess i'm the person to do it all myself mm. that tracks yeah, that, yeah that track yeah yeah it, it, well, it makes right? total sense I, the, I guess you're the, the one complaint because you you just uh, dated yourself with like tsunami so I, I tried. Like I was like, how how many references can I fit in that lets people know how old I am? Like, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you're without you're right without giving away your yeah. total age. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Like Sailor Moon, Toonami, yeah. the, the little easel thing. The easel, yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. The the, uh, yeah. the quick reference to Beetleborgs. <laughs> oh God, boy, we're going down that one. Metal Hero. <laughs> I I was deep in the Beetleborgs, deep in it. Oh yeah. I remember the oh, first yeah. red one. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Jesus, yeah. the first one. My lord. So you're like us then, right? 45? Sorry, I got, I, it lagged a little bit right there. Did you ask me something? Uh, Billy, Billy made the reference that you might be the same age as us, which is like 45, 46. Yeah. In, in, no. in a joking manner. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no. Uh, 31, actually. 31. Oh, like, okay. No. <laughs> Wait, so you were born in 91 then? Uh, 90, 92. 92. 92. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm older than I thought it was. You got me <laughs> questioning my math for a second. Like, I was like, oh, shit. How old am hey, I? I? Yeah. <laughs> I was born. No, I was born the... in 91. So, yeah, we're, yeah. we're right around the same, like, same, same group. Same age. Okay. You know, I was born the last day of 89, and people still ask me how the 80s were. And I was like, I don't know. I spent it in a box. <laughs> <laughs> that that literally he, he, is not how that works. Yeah. yeah. He, he was in those little preview boxes, like, are you gonna be okay? He's like, "Wah." <laughs> yeah. You much. too. Yeah. I yeah. was a preemie baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The line between life and death held in the balance of like this one light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> That's darker than what it should have. Oh my god. <laughs> like oh. oh Moving no. forward. <laughs> yeah. What motivates you to draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This light bulb thing. <laughs> yeah. Do you like colored pencils <laughs> or crayons? Just. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're oh. working backwards now <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god but yeah so okay ah that was my inner goat my inner screaming goat sorry guys <laughs> cue the duck gonna... cue the duck <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't work on like the recording <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but i can put it in anyways yeah oh there it nice. is that is that's it like what i can add it it's just in this server so i don't get booted maybe i'll just do a little oh. emoji there. Yeah, that would do it. Yeah. Keeping mm -hmm. it, I'll do it. That, keeping it saying. Yeah. Well, let's see if you can boot it or not. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, man. A little Jeopardy timer in the background there. <laughs> a little Vanna White with the, <laughs> with the uh, slightly used uh, microwave for winning. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. The microwave from the green room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You know that lady <laughs> makes three million dollars a year just showing things with her hands, and then I'm over here She's struggling really to flip a cup in a machine with a laser. <laughs> Listen, she found her hustle. Clearly. You gotta find yours somehow. You gotta you yeah. gotta find your pointy thing for three million dollars. <laughs> you yeah. missed it. Is not in the arts. Billy. Nah, it is no, not no. in the arts. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there. Did you go to school for art or? 
No. So um, in middle school and high school, like, you know, you had those art classes that everybody oh. and their mother can join. But so yeah. like that was like the extent of my art education. Um, and I'm pretty sure I had one art teacher in high school that hated me because she never gave me an A. She was one of those teachers like, I just don't give A's if I feel like I, I could push you but more. And there was one project where she gave me an 80, but then I saw like this weird texture on the back. So I held it to the light. This woman whited out a 93 and then she gave me an 80. And I'm like, hey, what is what is this about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Explain like, this. I already cried enough. Quit it. <laughs> yeah. I have right. emotional distress. <laughs> like, why did you make me national treasure this to find out my real grade? Oh, no, you went that far with like a lemon squeeze drop and stuff? <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and a little bit of heat just blow on it. <laughs> yeah. You're sitting there like, look, look, mom, dad, I made a 93. That's an A. That's an A. Yeah. I didn't make a B, I made an A. <laughs> Don't. I can just see you Whatever like. Whatever you like, write first goes. Yeah. I can see you like this slapping Nicholas. Like slapping Nicholas Cage on the chest. Like, explain this to my parents. <laughs> right. You got this. You got this. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's but, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, no no uh, other formal education, went to high school, had those classes. And then one of my friends tried to worm me into like the honors art club. Huh. And I just showed up like I didn't pay dues or anything. I just showed up. I didn't do anything but like to sit yeah. in a corner. Uh, uh, college, went to UT Austin, hook them. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, thing. hey, yeah. hey, gig them. Uh, but that's not. <laughs> Whoa! I'm out. I'm out of this podcast. Edit me out. Like I, <laughs> no yeah, part of this. Yeah, he went to AM, Unfortunately, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't know you guys it, were it makes... toxic in here. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sad about it still. Don't worry. <laughs> like I look. I'm still. I'm still paying. I'm still paying my debts. <laughs> You know, hey, I yeah, will. Yeah, you get I, indoctrinated into like oh, the yeah. cult fight for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh no, yeah. They're, they're like you need to say howdy everyone. I'm like, okay, buddy. <laughs> I will rather take a toy collecting brother that's an Aggie than a friend that's a Sooner. So you know, any day. <laughs> oh. Ben's over there just dying a little inside. Dying, like, dying. <laughs> dying, can't do it. <laughs> Don't you love enemy. me? No. You common and yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'd rather lose the A and M. Then lose the Oklahoma in the in the Cotton Bowl. So I was gonna say, I really opinions on OU. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I rather have gotten the A and M than Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But hey, well, <laughs> Texas plays for the Big Twelve title this weekend, so I can't complain about that. You know, Man. I have no idea what you just said. I'm nodding uh, like I know. Like yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, don't give the satisfaction where they put a ball on a field, right? And like twenty two uh -huh. guys at one time hug each other aggressively until one of them falls down. Thank I, you, because I was gonna yeah, say, can we address the homoeroticism of football in itself? Can yes. we? Can we? Yes. Please. We need to bring this to there. light. We're fully, gonna have a twenty twenty muscled special. men fighting over balls. <laughs> That's it. That's basically it. And then when you get good enough, you can get drafted and get paid to wrestle men to the ground. For balls. Play with balls. Yeah. Yeah, with balls. Lots yeah. of oddly right. shaped balls. Uh, the worst part, they're not even like normal shaped. They're oddly shaped and they're pointy. And I feel like if you have pointy balls, you should go see your doctor. That must be studied somehow. Like, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation on why that shape is the way it is. But like, and they look the at America is, and they're like, did you see their ball? Did yeah, you right. see the, what they have in America? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> who's that guy who's that Tom Brady, right? He likes yeah. to play yeah. with deflated one of these pointy balls. And yeah. it just... It's a whole thing that's under investigation and all this, you know. The the four people listen to our know. podcast who like football are like, oh, keep talking about Tom Brady. Ooh. Yeah. So. <laughs> Ooh, and everyone else is like, so well, they. <laughs> yeah. And everyone else is like, will you get back on topic? We're like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened to the art? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know that you <laughs> watched. Art, you like, everything else in this podcast died. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, have you. You've watched Always Sunny then, right? So, I have, right. Okay. I, I've seen it, but not enough for, like, not consecutively. It was always, okay. like, on, like, TNT randomly, oh. and I would catch it, yeah. Okay. There's that. We're Right now, we're full, like, there is no pay pay scene with them in the bottom with the mail room, and there's a red lines everywhere. We're trying to connect yes. the dots here with why pay pay <laughs> or football is the way it is. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I'm right. seeing I'm, I'm seeing gonna... the vision come together. You got it. Yeah, yeah. I was cool. gonna say we're could... moving on. She could be our she could do our like uh what I don't know what they're called in the courtroom when they draw the, the courtroom. The court sketches? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could court sketch us like looking just dumb as hell with cross eyes or something, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Okay. I saw this TikTok of like different interpretations of court sketches on like, this one trial and like three out of four completely accurate um, portrait of this one guy with like a long nose, like saggy chins. But then this one person just drew him like an Adonis, like a handsome Squidward. And we're just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Where did his mind go for this? I want to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Now, the quick. So the, one the had a crush. Is- <laughs> I That's know. the hard part, because like when you draw on people, I don't know how does that work. Have you drawn somebody well, you're, like, you're a, also... like a live person? Well, okay, okay. Those courtroom sketches have to be quick. You know that, right? Yeah, it has to be really say. fast. So, mm-hmm. like, I, what was it like? Less than like three or four minutes, you had to have the whole thing done. For yeah. something like that, I, I I wouldn't like I could tell you a number and I would be lying because I'm pulling it out my ass. But yeah, something like that because it, like the whole. I think point is to really capture like the the motivation or like the the feeling of that oh. one testimony or something. So you gotta yeah. really just like know how to get the the forms of it really fast. And it's not about the details. Like yeah. I don't need to know how many thread counts are on his suit. I just need to know. Right. You know how he did was he wearing look. blue. <laughs> his yeah. expression and get it and move on. But I yeah. I have done like studies of like gesturing is how it's, it's what it's called where people like model and you just try to really like learn how to basically capture that in as few strokes as you can and just like before they do another pose so it's not a sexy time it's actually very stressful and the source of a lot of trauma for me but i mean it's it's something wait. where yeah yeah rewind so <laughs> wait so okay so <laughs> nick and kind of hot kind of guys in a room with like 35 other people trying to draw is trauma trauma inducing it's trauma inducing for probably everybody really yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. it's it's like somebody's walking like like an like, instructor walking back and forth like looking at your sketchbooks oh. and you're just like this is all i have <laughs> This is all <laughs> I have. Do? You should just do the stick figure really quick. You'd be like, "All right, let's go." You're like that, that's it. You, I'm, I know what I'm looking at. Oh. <laughs> I know oh. what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you I know that. In this, huh? So, uh, I I was reading an article that back in like the colonial times that when they would draw people, they would just draw the head and then they would fill the body in by memory, and that's why their heads were always small in the paintings. I feel like that's very similar to what I do now. Um, Just like I enjoy doing faces like, you know, that's where you get your expressions. That's the Mm -hmm. thing that people go. I know who that is. Right. You don't look at a chest and like, I know exactly. That's Nick Cage in the 90s and, and, you know, Con Air or whatever. You you don't Don't, do that. Don't ask a teenage boy that question. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Really? Just like by the cleavage, you know exactly who it is. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, some guys they have a really, really good like chest line. You can always tell with the hair. Oh, uh, okay. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll okay. take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Completely out of left field. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I com- edit that part out. I take it all back. But <laughs> I, I will start with the head, right? And then I get to like, oh shit, I can't post it like this. What else do I got going on? And then I have to work backwards to like figure out the body and like the background. That's not the best like habit to have as an artist. But when I'm just fucking around, like that's <laughs> that's why sometimes I have some, like a lot of my time lapses that I post on TikTok or Instagram, you will see me towards the end, like reduce the head size a little bit because that's what happened. Like I start oh. off with just the head and it's like, hey, Arnold size, like huge. And then I go, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> real real technical stuff <laughs> i do like watching your time lapse videos because like you can see everything that you do in like that minute long video or so oh my so god i awesome. i am so thankful that you said that because like for the longest time i wouldn't even post those like i would be so uh. scared to be like putting them up and then somebody goes that's not the proper way you do the oh. collarbone you know because it's like the <laughs> internet <laughs> Yeah, and you're like, "Fuck up! You want to do it?" 
<laughs> yeah like can you do better like that's like the yeah. age-old thing that people were spawned with like can you do better then yeah. like let's see you try but like even i remember sorry go ahead oh, i was gonna say my favorite uh one that you have done that i followed the uh, was the color wheel when you used to do the color <laughs> wheel and i like yeah. that yeah that was fun oh my goodness so. that was like it started off with just f***ing around like hey guys there's a color wheel that everybody's doing, but I want to do it for Power Rangers because I haven't mm -hmm. seen anybody do that yet. Like, I got to give back to my folks in the Power Ranger TikTok community, all five of us. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm like, let's do a for twist real. on that, too. Like, yeah. why don't you guys recommend people that you would, like, set me up on a blind date with? And somebody, like, one of my friends started off with Rocky, and then, like, it just kept going from there. But, like, a lot of people miss the memo of what the theme is, and they'll they'll, they'll say anything. Like, Doggy Kruger. I'm like, hmm. No, no, <laughs> no, let's not, let's not do that. I had a dog once. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, like, oops. That's enough doggy experience for me. Like that's enough. <laughs> I had my oh. traumas. I can't do this again. <laughs> oh yeah. But, yeah. I am so lucky. I had like a Maltese that never got into that habit of like just humping everything in sight when it's in heat or whatever. So mm. But I've seen it done to somebody else. And I'm like, I'm glad I'm not you. Like, truthfully, like, I'm sorry, yeah. but I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. A friend, a friend oh, has no. a gold retriever uh, mix. And this dog is dumb as bricks. I love this dog to death, though, but it's dumb as bricks. And the second <laughs> it walks in any room, it goes one. straight for anyone's crotch. Like, just straight for your crotch. It like, doesn't matter who you are. Straight to crotch. And I'm like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> and it's <laughs> the worst part. It's like crotch level. So it's like, whoop. <laughs> You're like, oh, will you stop it? Oh Get no! Out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. Like, oopsie well, Yeah. Well, luckily, well, I just have a dog that's small, and I can outrun until I start wheezing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so. See, the thing is, you can drive. The dog can't. <laughs> oh. That's right. Don't tell your mom I about it. Though. She'll get the dog and chase you down. Yeah. And I got opposable thumbs. Check Sometimes. these babies out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just it about to say, let me do art mm -hmm. and lock the doors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm unstoppable. The only thing I can't do is make a million dollars off my art with these loans. But you know what? When there's a yeah. will, there's a way. Yeah, you're you're at least you know trying. What? You know what? It lets you hold a weapon to rob a bank. Oh. Okay. Ideas. Ideas. Okay. Hey. Uh. You know. You you. Ten years. For what, three hundred thousand or something like that? And then why work? You know, seventy years when you can get three hundred thousand in three years. Well, I'm just in three know, years. You know, hmm. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> so. saying. And you and you know, it's a federal crime at that point. So you're getting on the Fed pen, and it, it's easy. Jeez. I mean, uh, no one should be considering right, this uh, <clears throat> right now. It's premeditated, but let's. <laughs> It's all hypothetical it jokes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ha 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 See you guys later at the meeting spot. <laughs> like, if uh, yeah, we're gonna one go of fishing. like the ten people who listen to this is actually a federal agent. This is just for jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so we have eleven <laughs> listeners now. I'm real, real proud of that eleventh person. <laughs> That's Pretty me. Much. I'm on here right now as a guest, so he can't count me as an eleventh person. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Not unless you, uh, so, there's got to be some way. Maybe we can like, I don't know. It's like one of those little TARDIS things where the room is bigger than the inside. Mm -mm. Something like that. that reminds me. I need to watch the new season off of Disney Plus. Not a plug. I but... I am so Not far behind plug. on the series. That I feel like I watch a new season. I'll be so lost. Okay. That is a, like, that the one thing that I hear everybody say when I'm like, hey, have you seen the new season on Disney? They're like, oh, I'm so behind. I'm like, who is it? But I <laughs> no, like I stopped like like three episodes in the Peter Capaldi. Uh, Capote? Oh. Capote? 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 That guy. Capote? Very close. Yeah, I stopped like three the or four episodes into his yeah. season. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And I just stopped watching. And I'm like, oh, cool. It's on. I should watch it. And I just never watched it. Hmm. And now I'm He's like, actually what, my favorite five doctor, seasons behind? So... I, I heard I his second season got him. really good. Which one is that one? Like his second Elon. season onward was fantastic, but I just, I don't know, I just, I didn't, it didn't hit for me. Ah, huh. I got busy with other stuff like Breaking Bad. Okay, and like Game Breaking of Bad. Yeah. Uh, 
What did when did you oh I'm trying to think of timelines. I'm like, did you start Breaking Bad later afterwards or something? Well, or no, okay. what was it a so, rewatch? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh Breaking Bad season three started up when Peter's season started up. Oh, okay, and I kind of okay. got stuck in the Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, Game of mm-hmm. Thrones, that like era of time. And so I didn't have any time to yeah. watch Doctor Who and got into some more anime and yeah, just. That's nah, fair. I didn't really watch it when it was airing either. I like I watched nah. it after it was all done and then yeah. 13 came out and I'm like, well, I'm definitely not watching that because I heard it sucked. <laughs> but let me try oh. 12 and see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this is good. Yeah. Oh shit! Like I watched, I watched the fiftieth anniversary, and it was really good. And then right after that, it was Peter's season, and I was like, ah, me. Uh, <laughs> that's what he got me doing. He he had me watch one episode of the Weeping Angels, and then I was like, well, I don't know nothing, so I got to go back and watch. And I'm on the eleventh Doctor right now, so. I was the same thing with Demon good. Slayer for you. You watched a movie, and I was like, well, why'd you watch the movie? You're so yeah. lost, aren't you? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm real lost. I'm like, you should watch the series. I'm a and now look at him now. Look at him now. He's so wearing a he's wearing a Tondro shirt. Gateway, gateway yeah. episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. You know yeah. what? There's this new show you should watch. It's called uh, Jiu Jitsu Kaisen. You should really watch that one. So, See, she agrees. <laughs> she agrees. She agrees. Okay. I do. Yes. <laughs> oh man, it's one of those <laughs> shows that I tell everybody like it will spend like three episodes explaining the magic system, and I don't know what. The is going on you asked me what the plot line was i don't know but i enjoy it i'll keep watching it that's dedication you the right episode? There, you know <laughs> no the, i haven't the, seen the new the, season yet i know <sighs> it's a lot i heard it's a lot it's a lot of really really uh, so like I, map is having a problem like keeping up with animation for it right now but the animation they're putting out is glorious uh, mm-hmm. it's beautiful i'm like oh don't screw this up guys don't screw it up <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know about it's Mappa, but like a... Oh, eh. I've been on a Godzilla kick lately. I don't know. I don't know how oh, or there's why. there's that new You're... show on, on was it Mon- Apple Monarch? TV, right? Apple yeah, TV. Monarch. It's really mm-hmm. good. It's really good. It got me to even buy the, the Funko ones, too. So I got Ultima Godzilla and then Ultima with Fire. So it's I'm not going to lie to you. I, it, took, yeah. it took me three days to watch that new show, like the first episode. Three yeah, days. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Three like days. Cause it's so it good. Was okay. Or yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty good. It's more of a backstory. I, I stopped, like, I stopped yeah. every time, man. Like I was like, ah, this is fun. Like I sat there yesterday. I'm like, I should really finish it. I have nine minutes left in the first episode. And I finally finished it. I was like, that was okay. <laughs> Three days for one episode. It sounds like you were a Stockholm syndrome into finishing this. I mean, this guy over here is yeah. like, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. Yeah. Oh, see, the worst part is so the worst part is Millie recommends me, uh, will recommend me shows. I'm like, these shows are terrible. I recommend him. I recommend him shows. He's like, these shows are great. I'm like, yeah, you should really work on your shows. Mm-hmm. Your recommendations suck, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm waiting for. I'm no, only for the recommend you Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is the one day. I don't know. My puns are on point. I'm gonna beat you up. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh yeah. So... Back to the art. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite color. <laughs> yeah, favorite color. No. My favorite color is Billy's broken what, face. No. <laughs> what's your favorite CMY CMYK color code? No. <laughs> oh, you know, it's like I think parentheses two two five comma zero two. I don't know. Uh, well, you almost there. You almost got it. Yeah. I, I was almost there. <laughs> oh man. What do you use to um, print your art? Oh, so last year, so it was basically 2022, either somewhere in October that I decided I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for real. Like I'm going to open an Etsy shop and I'm going to sell things. I'm going to get on social media. Like this is it because I quit my full-time job at the medical appliances company. And I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) it's do or die at this point. Uh, And for Black Friday, I bought an uh, Epson. Yes. Oh, so okay. Ooh, all right. Shaquille O'Neal really had my back. He says, hey, you can print more with less ink. You don't have to buy the cartridges. And then I said, you got me, Shaq. You got me <laughs> Did, so good. W- ooh, was it like one of those that's that co- that like Coke commercial where like Mean Joe Green like throws the jersey to that kid? But it, he, well, in this but case, it was, it's a printer Shaq throwing the Epson to you. <laughs> he just, <Yeah. laughs> just throw the entire printer over. And he catches it. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's how invigorating it was to see this. I'm like, okay, I, I'm going to print a lot. I need this. So, like, my stickers are, like, the ones that aren't foiled or anything or print at home. Oh. I make them at mm-hmm. home. Uh, I do the prints at home. Um, but I do have, like, a partnership with uh, a printing company in California. Uh, they're called Uproar.Art endorsement and they they um they're swell people like they helped me so much to grow my shop and like offer oh, wow. really cool shit like the glow in the dark psycho ranger i don't know you guys seen that mm. piece before oh, yeah. but like yeah the, the stickers with the data cards where the data card glows in the dark i'm just yeah. like this is badass cool. i would have shat my pants as a kid if i had this <laughs> oh man i like the little uh what is it called like the chibi style yeah, that you had. I like those, the chibi style psychos and stuff. Yeah, thank you. I remember mm. um, at my first selling event, so like I wasn't there. I was at the restroom because um, I was I was really soldiering it out for like four hours without going to the pit stop. <laughs> but oh, my no. friends sat there. I'm like, all right, you did this. You sat down. You're responsible now. I got up. I came back, and then she was like, somebody just came up and said, "Where's the black psycho? Where's the blue psycho?" And I'm like, well. I I posted red, yellow, and pink to see if anybody enjoyed them. Like if people were like, "Oh my god, give us more!" Nobody did, so I'm like, "You guys must hate these." I'll just sell these, and that'll be it. But people keep saying they love them without buying them, but they love them in spirit. So I guess that's like a spiritual sell I made. Oh, uh, okay. you know, like where, where's where's the black and blue psycho? It'll be your face in a second. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh got him. ow, ow, <laughs> got him. Yeah, man. And you actually got to meet a Psycho Ranger too. Oh my God! Yes, yes. Uh, it was this year at Retromania. Did you guys go to that one? I was there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we keep missing each other. We keep going. Like, hey, are you going? And we're like, yeah. But they get fucking crowded. We're like, I'm, I went home. Yeah. Home. Yeah, yes, I went uh, home. Jim, she went to you Bell County. There. And uh, we we completely missed her at Bell County. But then again, in our yeah. defense, there was a lot of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, Bell County was intense. Holy yeah. Jesus! But the Aust- the Greater Austin Comic Con is worse in the H E B Convention Center. Oh, that's really oh, bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like basically butt to gut with people. It was bad. <laughs> we yeah. got intimate. Well, hey. <laughs> yeah, for we're real. Going, yeah. We're going to the Waco one this weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to Elite Con in Waco. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, that Greater Austin, they have outgrown that location. They need somewhere else. They, like the convention center, at least, where they had the... Uh, ooh, what was that Comic-Con in Austin that I went to? GalaxyCon. Oh, That's my right. God. That one was... I went to that one, too. But yeah, that one was really nice. <laughs> like, best, uh, like, put together best organized for me like as a mm. as an attendee i heard a lot of my friends who went as uh the artist alley folks like they hated yeah, yeah. it though like they they were like this was the worst experience they've had it and i'm like so, well yeah like the the artist area was like so dead it was like oh man i felt so bad so i was like getting free stickers and stuff i was like okay cool because <laughs> they were like pushed <laughs> into the get... corner next to the food trucks and then yeah. like all the celebrities Ooh. were like right up front so like who's yeah. gonna go to that dark little corner that's so sad and depressed yeah, yeah that's exactly what happened and then they had a <laughs> uh what's his name uh, dave schrader and i was walking past the table and i looked i was like D Dave schrader and i looked i was like no way there's no way dude I'm like why <laughs> no are you way. so sad dave Dave yeah, Schrader, looks, why are you sad? Yeah, why are you so sad, Dave? I like aliens too. Let's talk about ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, circling back to Greater uh, Austin Comic Con, like I was selling at Kalahari Resorts. That's uh, where they held the Colossal oh. Con and also Iki Con at earlier the year. Yeah. yeah. The um, one of the guys who came by my booth, he was like, "I really like your style. You got a great body of work." And I'm just like, "Who are you?" thanks uh but he's like yeah i'm just scoping the place because i run greater austin comic con and i'm trying to see if this is a good place to like host it and i'm like yes oh. and he looked at me like you got opinion you got feedback i'm like i i sure do because you cannot host it at heb convention center anymore no. like once you try to get into that um that center with all the celebrities and the yeah. stuff like that's a health hazard. Nobody can move. You can't yeah. even stop to see the art. What's the what's the point? And then you That's don't even right. know what panels are going on. You go upstairs and it's equally packed. Yeah, yeah. It was bad, yeah. And then I was like 
I don't know. Did you ever stand in line to get in? Because like they had the metal detectors and they were wanding people and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then like the lady behind me, her and her friend were uh the coon and uh Professor Chaos from uh, South, <laughs> oh, South Park. And yeah, like her yeah, friend yep. had the tinfoil on and she was like, Chaos! And I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah. It set it off. Yeah. <laughs> She set it off. She was like, chaos. Yeah. <laughs> it is I, Professor Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was laughing so hard. And I was like, this is weird because I'm all, I'm by myself and I'm laughing at, you know, the, the coon and Professor Chaos. <laughs> the raccoon. <laughs> Whether or not Professor Chaos got through the metal detectors it's between him and God at that point because I yeah. can't imagine <laughs> the holdup. <laughs> yeah. It was so, like, yeah. But yeah, I was in there. It was I'm so sorry. Empty. It's me butters. <laughs> right, oh, yeah. right, right. Just take it all <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh my god. It's, yeah, that was right. butters. That one, like you said, they just cannot hold it there anymore. Like, yeah, no. They've outgrown that place, like I yeah. think for at least two years now. <sighs> mm-hmm. Did you see that they're tearing down the convention center because they're gonna build a new one? So that, that Gal- same one? No, not that one, but the one Galaxy Con was at. No way. Yeah, they, they just got approved to tear it down and build a new one. And apparently it's going to be like the three times the size of that one. So, Ooh, fun. Yeah. Oh, so maybe we can host really like bigger like cons yeah. there. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a, uh, yeah, that was difficult to get to. But, and then when you were standing <laughs> yeah. outside, you had to deal with the homeless people and they were just outrageous. Like they were saying weird mm. stuff. And I was like, like I was are like, you Goku? Out. Dude, I like, I'm wearing a trunk shirt, man. Are you yeah. Goku. So one guy was like, this is the line to the food stamp office. I was like, I was like boy, I hit you so hard. Your ID gets a black guy. <laughs> oh my God. I went on my on the final day of galaxy con because it mm. fell right on my birthday. And I'm like, okay, oh. perfect. Like, yeah, so I went, and it, funny thing about the entrance is, like, I, we parked wherever we could, because that's how Austin works, right? You just, yep. you see a spot, you go in, and then you ask questions later, and then, like, <laughs> we're like, oh, why were people talking ticket. about lines? Yeah, <laughs> you ignore all yeah. of it, it's just a paper, just tear it off. That's a joke, <laughs> that's a <Yep>. joke. <laughs> <laughs> Austin PD, like, we know where she lives. <laughs> yeah. Why are people complaining about lines? Like I did there's no lines here. We went through like the ADA line for like oh. <laughs> wheelchair access and everything. So that was why there was no line. But otherwise, it was um that whole celebrity like corner, that was like jam-packed yeah. with like people like really big names like mick foley i was like mick foley yeah i saw him kevin nash uh what was it uh mike tyson and hulk hogan did you see that they were actually like in their own little booth like Kurt rick off flair rick yeah flair? yeah oh yeah it was rick like, flair yeah let me, a woo! <laughs> let me let yeah. me let me see him Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was bad and i got to meet jason nobody was at his table or uh also st john yeah so i got to talk i got I got to talk to him for like 10 minutes. You know, it was interesting. They, somebody came to his table and asked him if he can come over around to the Dora, the Explorer voice actress, and like oh, do yeah. a morphing call with her. Yep. I, I was like, that is so f- funny because he was like, it's morphing time. Hola, soy Dora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And then she just turned into like that little doll and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah. I was walking through there and I was like just looking at some of the names. I was like, and then uh, the one guy that was like the 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 original voice actor of Mario or something was there. Yeah, I was like, yeah. what? Yeah, I was just walking past. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, <laughs> fancy. Yeah, yeah. Like with those type of cons, I don't know if I'll ever like do an artist alley there because I'd be so like starstruck and I want to participate as like an attendee oh, yeah. and go to the panels and stuff. But like for smaller stuff with Retromania or even like less important people are there. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. the one where people will actually walk by me and be interested. I'm all for it. Like I'm yeah. game. What's your opening line? How do you how do you uh, what's your pickup line to get them to stay at your table? 
Oh my goodness! Hey, like, you I fuck, get over here! <laughs> no, it's the opposite. You, you gotta flirt with them. You gotta, you gotta be like, oh my god, great cosplay of whatever. Like, yeah. I'm very sincere though. Like, I get really, I am like a dog with a squirrel. I'm like, oh my god, Goku, Mario, Final Fantasy. Like, I, I will just call it out because like, I'm a huge fan. And then they would like, of course, feel obligated <laughs> to come by. Yeah. And then I make small talk like, how'd you make that? And like, they, you can so see like they get really excited. Yeah. Our, our plan for when we do a booth is we're gonna be like, are you Tanjiro? Are you Tanjiro? Are you Tanjiro? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> to everyone who walks by, this is matter. Curse. <laughs> Like, are you Tanjiro? I mean, I'm Goku. Are you Tanjiro? Yeah, he can even be dressed as somebody from like Raccoon City, from like um, uh, what's the oh man, Resident Resident Evil, Evil. and it'd be like Tanjiro. <laughs> yeah, actually try that. It's a PlayStation. Like, <laughs> go ahead and try that and report back to me and and tell me if it works. Because if it's so, I'll totally I'll implement it. I'll implement it. <laughs> you'll, you'll do it. <laughs> if it works, like do it. <laughs> got a big old bag of ice on my face. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye, the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god yeah i mean like, buy the, no <laughs> the most sincere like tip i can give to like artists trying to or, or anybody doing boothing who wants to like attract people um don't be on your phone is one but like oh, just yeah. try to make conversation with them and like genuinely compliment them and they would feel like oh my god maybe I do want to buy from this person or even not if I don't buy anything. Like I felt really good that they acknowledged my existence. Wait, my really sad existence. I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Tell me this works. Tell me this works. All right, let's role play. All let's right. role play. All right, let's do right, this. Right, okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to, Billy is the customer walking by. All right. All right. Billy, that subtle gray in your beard makes your eyes pop so well. Can you come over here and look at my stuff? Love that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that totally worked. You just noticed the grays just by looking. Perfect. <laughs> Right, like from oh, wait, a distance, I, I, he's like I, I, hot. Yeah, yeah. I got this. I got this. The subtle, the subtle depression in your voice says so many deep things about your life. Would you come buy my wares? <laughs> wares? How many for the stickers? Was that depressing wait, wait, enough, wait, wait, or wait. can I go hold more? Hold on. Oh, hey. oh, oh. Okay, Ooh. Hey. game changer. <laughs> yeah, I gotta write that one down. Do yeah. you want to touch my beard? No thanks. That's oh, where I draw the um, line. <laughs> yeah, I think let's let's table that. Let's put a pin in that and then circle back later. You know what? You know yeah. what? We'll do that at the gay yeah. club. <laughs> Why do you have a booth that I you know okay, I'm just gonna ride this one out. You know, do you want <laughs> do you want more listeners? Do you do let, you <laughs> let the quip die. Like just let it die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my we should totally have There's you, no... like, we could set up a booth to, like, advertise our podcast, but we could have you, like, in the middle, and just, like... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, just... Oh, oh, we should do, we should do, we should, uh, we should have uh, a booth, all three of us, uh, mm -hmm. and you in the middle, and we would just sit there talking over you the entire time, and you just, like, start hitting us. <laughs> you shut the hell up! <laughs> That's so 90s sitcom. Like, that's the plot line of almost everything ever, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> like, and get it, a it'd be fun wiffle ball back. Like, Shut up, Bing. Because, like, right. two, two, guys that are, two guys that are six foot and over, and you, you're just, like, standing in the middle just wailing on us. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I condone violence, so, like, let's do it. <laughs> I condone violence? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Watch, we find out Tan over there's like six foot six. <laughs> I I feel like I I have enough photos of me and like the the Rangers that you could probably be like that's that's full on BS. Like that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. it, it's you uh, you did it like Peter Jackson did with the Hobbit, uh, the, Hobbit the Lord of the Rings. It's all at a distance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. tricky that's camera all angles. It's, it's and, all perspective. You know, it's all. Yeah. Right, because they, they definitely put me, like, back here, and then, like, Chris came and Lee, like, up here towards the camera, so we even out. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He was, like he was super cool room. about it. You're like, all right, cool, man. Cool. Be like, hey, yeah, I'm like, trying to tell my mind? fans, I'm only, like, <laughs> like, what do you mind? I'm trying to convince my fans I'm really short. <laughs> yeah, oh. my, my branding is making me look as petite as possible. Can you indulge me in this? Could you stand closer to my camera? <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we greatly appreciate this. <laughs> Oh, what's oh? I can't remember her name. You're probably taller than her, though. The Yellow Ranger, Aisha, Ashley. Oh, something. Ashley. Probably taller than her. 
that you know how when people it. are like name your like top like top five albums of all time or whatever and then you forget like every single music piece you've ever heard in your life oh Ashley, yeah actually Ashley something actually i'm not gonna look it up i'm not gonna do it like no, i'm gonna yeah. raw dog this <laughs> Hey, but no, like, term. Yeah, yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just throw words out there and see if it fits, and then people just go with it, so I'll never know. But yeah, I, I think I'm about the same height as her. I met her at Dragon's Lair when she and Austin oh. St. John and um, the voice of Zordon, David Fielding, came yeah, yeah. to promote oh. their comic book. Uh, what was it called? The Unit or something? They had like their own little production of like... It wasn't a Power Ranger series, but it was like very shooty, very post-apocalyptic, and they were trying to like do a Kickstarter for that, and then they made their own comic book, oh, but then like it kind of just went oh. nowhere. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay. Isn't the one that almost uh, isn't the one who like got a, a lot of old Rangers together and like did like a movie thing with it too? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they had the a unit, bunch yeah. of them. Yeah, I remember seeing yeah. a trailer for it, I, and I, I was like, oh, hey, I know them, I know them, I know them, I know them. You know, I know most of this cast. <laughs> you know, most of this is not surprising. <laughs> I'm like, it, they're just, like, having fun at, like, a paintball, like, arena, yeah. it, it seems like. <laughs> but oh, I, I was totally if, for if it. You, if you do want a really good, like, comic to read that's, like, Power Ranger-esque, uh, check out, uh, uh, damn it, Black... Did you say Black go, Black go, loser? Black Radiant. <laughs> Yeah, Black Radiant. Yeah, Radiant Black, Radiant Black, Radiant Black. Radiant Black. Yes, he was there at uh, Galaxy Con too. I met. Uh, he was. <laughs> what's uh, Kyle Higgins? And I, I was walking. I was like, "Oh crap! It's Kyle. Hold on. I really love your Shattered Grid series." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I almost uh, wanted to bring my Shattered Grid, like you know, like the big volumes, just for him to sign it because yeah. that that shit changed my life. And I have <laughs> one of my really good friends. Um, that I met online after like posting all my art and stuff, um, especially for Power Rangers Hyperforce, because like maybe oh. me and three other people have listened to it in full. Yeah. Uh, he he sent me a comic book of the Hyperforce variant, and then with all the cast members <gasps> signing it, and I should have gotten Ooh. Kyle to sign it if I had gone on a day where oh. he was there. Oh, oh wow! You know, Speaking uh, of meeting, do you ever hear his interview about what happened between uh, Jason and Lauren during the Chatter Grid? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. He's like, oh, we totally <laughs> forgot that he's like 17 and she's like 25. <laughs> like, we yeah, totally forgot like, about oops. that. <laughs> like, whoopsie daisy. The chemistry, the, the yeah. chemistry they had, I was like, why did we not revisit this? And then I'm like, you know what? It That's never happened. Like, it never they're happened. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they're like oh. halfway through like the arc. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Speaking of, they like men in black us like psh. oh yeah yeah <laughs> speaking of meeting uh, uh like power injectors have you ever met like paul and jason la uh, bulk skull no no oh, oh my god okay i want to so bad i know <laughs> they, they are super super sweet somewhere in texas yeah. very oh. recently that i did not know about beforehand or else i would have been there uh yeah they were in waco and we actually went and met them and and we met Steve Cardenas there too, but but Vulcan mm -hmm. Skull, like their characters, that that's their real life. That's oh. them. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah. Like, like we got that's a signed picture. <laughs> yeah, we got a signed picture from him, and he was like, "Ah, do whatever you feel." You know, he's like starting to write about Bulk's mom and stuff, like Paul's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, they're okay. they're they're really really nice. Just heads up, they're, they're super sweet, yeah, and you fun. you want to hang with them all day. <laughs> yeah, I I can totally believe that i feel that like um the way they carry themselves and the way the other cast members talk about them they seem so I... genuine um funny story about jason narvi so you remember my power wheel right the the, the color yeah. wheel thing for power rangers yep. so one of them i did uh skull as the orange ranger and in my video i called him a girly pop <laughs> oh. he's, that's <laughs> yeah, just yeah. the vibe that i got from him and then my friend tagged jason narvi like sent it to his dms and then like sent me a screen cap of him saying oh my god that's so funny and then he followed me based off of that and i'm oh. like well how am i going to explain myself to him now how do i look him in the eye and be like <laughs> girly pop i drew you <laughs> right. pop. a few times yeah 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 i didn't call you any name though i swear that was just well, it was a weird time show. in my life <laughs> It's yeah. all good and fun, all teenager hormonal, hormonal stuff. That's very normal. You got this, right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. You're not a teenager. I'm, I'm a teenager. I'm just, my, I'm just in my 30s. I'm a late bloomer. So sue me. Right. You know? <laughs> I didn't really find uh, myself, so I hit 35. 
I mean, oh, that's, wow. that's how it feels sometimes because yeah. I'm just like, I'm the like the worst adult. And I think everybody around our age feels the same just because of like housing is so f- expensive yeah. and like we, it doesn't feel real like because we don't hit those same milestones that like the boomers oh, yeah. have set for us or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, like uh, my, my partner's I, dad's like, are you guys going to buy a house anytime soon? I'm like, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> buddy, oh. are you going to buy the house for us? No. It's like. Like they, they legit asked us if we went at their house one like once. They're like, "Hey, do you want our house?" I'm like, "the The house is worth like three million dollars. Uh, n- no, no earthly way I could pay those taxes. No, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> they're they they they're locked into the price like forever because uh, um, they're they're about to sell it. So it's not I'm their just, problem anymore. I'm just waiting for the market to crash so I can get a house for two dollars and a half eaten Star Crunch or something. You know, I'm just waiting, man. Like so at some it. point, at some point. It's gonna crash enough where we can buy like four houses for like seventeen cents. Listen, if I knew what I yeah yeah yeah, if I knew then what I knew now, like I would have started like investing in homes in third grade. In the third grade, like I would have education. (laughs) Like if if I knew now, if I knew now, uh, if I knew then what I knew now, I would invest in a Bitcoin and sold in like right before Elon Musk went on uh, uh, SNL. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That was that was the, that was a peak. It was at it was a peak. It was at was right after that, and then after that was done. Yep, he ruined it. Ruined it. I mean, oh, what doesn't that, he ruin? I, I I did Not make I did make like <laughs> enough money to buy like two computers with dog coin right before like I sold right before you went on. I was like, I'm gonna sell, and I sold, and I was like, oh hey. Then right after uh, that, it dropped to like from seventy cents, uh, uh seventy cents. To like you're, forty, and then like now it's less than a penny. Jay, Again. You're talking to you're talking to people that don't know math, right? Like <laughs> you on. got the wrong bitches for this one, Billy. <laughs> you should know math. You you need to know how to do tax. I just know measurements because that's all I deal with all day. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Sad to be you. No, um, don't worry. Okay. As long as you know your IP tables, you'd be fine. Huh? 192.168.1.1 I am in serious trouble. 255.255.255.0 Oh my god. It would be really weird about 255.255.00. Say it again. Hold on. I'm opening notes. What is it again? Say it again for our viewers. Hold on. Yeah, please. Let's just do it really quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll make sure you guys know it really well. We're good. Oh. Okay. Oh, did you hear right. anything from that? <laughs> yeah, he was in a silent film. I was just waiting for the black screen that says Finn on it, you know. You know, I'm going to put <laughs> yeah, the actual like, audio in on this and you guys be very confused. Because, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, mechanical silent. keyboards are made so that people know you're typing. Like, they can hear oh, yeah. you oh, yeah, typing. Oh, yeah. I got I one think at Discord work, is like, slam. you're not going to do this audio. Because, like, if I'm talking, <laughs> I can do it really well. But if I'm not talking, it, it, it's like it, it cuts it all out. Yeah. His yeah. card's like, nope. I'm like, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I got one. I got a mechanical keyboard at work that's real clicky, and I make sure people know I'm doing it. I, I'm like, I'm oh, like yeah. full like. I made sure you had some blue switches you know, in there, and it's you know, super. Oh annoying. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the clicky one, the real clicky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No lube, I, uh, nothing. I made, I made a, I made a keyboard with a Cali Jade key, like key, uh, key switches, and they click mm-hmm. on down and up. So you click, it clicks twice. Everything be clicked. Oh. And it was amazing, and I annoyed the crap out of people with it, who annoyed me. I was like, okay, I'm taking it to the office. Click, 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 click. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> like the entire day. And like, will you stop it? I have to type, man. I have to type. Yeah. So there I was, facing danger in his face. And it's like his boss with like a hatchet or something just about to chop his hands off or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, hey, no since you're a, yeah. Yeah. Well, since you're a power really fan. Him. And you know, we always ask every Power Rangers fan that gets on here. So, what what is, in your opinion, your favorite season and your worst favorite season? Oh yeah, because you're trying to start something here. Like mm. the divisiveness of this question is amazing. I love it. Yeah, Cause to God. Yeah. You, you need to ask next, like a follow up, like who's who is the best Red Ranger <laughs> and who is oh, the yeah. worst. Uh, I think like. I feel like every time I say this, it's so like, oh, well, yeah, that that's, you know, so common. But my favorite is definitely in space. Mm-hmm. 
God, loser. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nerd much? My least, my least favorite. Um, oh, God. I feel like it's a tie between um, Megaforce. Which I, nothing to the cast members. It's just the writing was not on par, mm -hmm. and Samurai because again the Nick seasons when um, Haim Saban was like, I want you to remake what I already made, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a solid thirty second rant about how much I hate like Mega Force, no Mega uh, mm -hmm. Samurai. Samurai. Solid I'm thirty sure. second rant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. So Billy, I'm, no Billy, I'm you off. Billy decides. <laughs> Billy decided to go and so we, we had an opportunity to go work with some people uh, for a show called The Power Trip. And they're like, all right, Billy, what show, which season do you want to do? And Billy's like, I want to do Samurai. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. And so we just sit there, rewatch all of Samurai and then do a three hour episode with these guys talking about what we liked and disliked about Samurai. Yeah. It was fun when like, I first. Yeah, I'll do it I, again. I'll, it was fun when it I watched painful. it air, but then when I, as an older adult, though, like when I rewatch, I'm like, oh, ow, this hurts. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I remembered like when it aired because like it was like, oh my god, this is like the first thing that's going to be on Nick for Power Rangers, and then they rolled out with like the Mighty Morphin theme song remix. Remix, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Oh, god, this is great. They're yelling their names over the song, so fresh. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, oh. but like, yeah, rewatching it, you're just like, mm, did you try with this at all? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was stretching uh, real Richard, far. Richard Martinez or something like that for the for De uh, the villain. Decker, Decker, which mm -hmm. I hated his character. I, I, I did not care for him at all. I'm like this guy is such a pretentious little joke. Though I did like Antonio. Antonio was great. Oh yeah, Antonio, Antonio was yeah, fantastic. He was Could uh -huh. do no wrong. Antonio is amazing. Yeah. You know what? I like the like the the concept of a ranger coming back as a villain though. Like a you know, yeah. you just gotta roll with that like bridge of suspension of disbelief. That's the thing I'm looking for. Um and it it just shows how much they love like the franchise, but you kind of just wish it was with a better season, <laughs> better writing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something... yeah, I really, really wish it was a better actor. <laughs> ah. Well, okay, here's a question then for you. To be this fair, get, he did stab his a, roommate, so... This is a, definitely a heated debate. And to be debate. fair, there was a scandal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, hot topic here then. Uh, so would you consider Phantom Ranger a sixth or ex or auxiliary? I would this call topic it auxiliary. Mm -hmm. It's dead. He did. Like, He's this dead. is a topic... <laughs> no, this topic happened like a year ago. Come on, man. Yeah. I'm just Keep it so fresh. I'm, like, what are you going to ask me next? Is it the Magnet Defender, a Ranger? Old stuff, old news. You know what? Move you on. know what? You know what? Well, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I got a question. The Quantum Savers, right? The the Quantum Savers from the Lost Galaxy. Uh, they they get to choose people, right? They they choose who the, who gets to use them, right? What the hell is up with this stupid things? Like, oh, Mike's pretty good. Let's give you like, let's make sure Leo gets my powers. What the hell is that bullshit? Like, oh. <laughs> did, did it know it was supposed to go to Leo? Or is it like, oh, hey, or are they just close? Were they genetically set up to work with these people only? Like, is is Leo just close enough, to barely close enough to Mike that it worked for him? What's going on? What's going on? Huh? Yeah? 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 Oh. yeah? You know, What's your opinion? The lights of Orion there, because, like, that's what's kind of the, the right. conscientious force behind the, the sabers, right? I feel like the way that first pilot episode was like set up, it shows him like helping out that granny, and then that is what mm. got him to the right place at the right time. I feel like that heroic act is like always what carried him to be fulfilling his legacy. Sorry, sorry, his fulfilling his um destiny as a Red Ranger, so, the chosen Red Ranger. <clears throat> so you're th wait, hold on. Look at that. Oh. From what you're saying, you're saying that the uh, right. the morphing grid is uh, omnipotent. Yes. Okay. With that yeah. many syllables. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Making sure. God. Because but, omnipotent. But <laughs> that that but what you said though was very interesting to me because like 
what if it did choose based on like bloodline and like the way people were raised because if mike was chosen then of course leo was raised probably similarly right if Corone ever ate it <laughs> would the pink lights go find andros hold up okay hold on that's a good question that's a good one Oh. Right. So then, well, if, if, next... if you're going, if you're going with, if you're going yeah. with raised, if you're going with raised, uh, she was raised by Ecliptor. That's oh, that's right. So mm-hmm. like, probably oh. wouldn't go looking for Andros. Probably Cassie. Not gonna lie to you. But we need. Yeah, but that was definitely the original script called for Cassie to take over as Pink. But then like union workers mm-hmm. and like being underpaid stuff so they were yeah. like let's go with the person who's yeah. not with the union <laughs> but we also need to talk about it, the it, it would have been of like the the le- the big c how, cassie no how there was no security whatsoever on terra venture because you know leo <laughs> dressed up as a military person and got on the and went to the moon what? <laughs> yeah. I want to. I want to know. I want to know is why were they in the moon without any protective gear on? Like they were yeah. walking around like they owned the place. It's like, know. oh, we have oxygen in the moon here, guys. And voila, you they jumped to a portal. It. Who the hell jumps <laughs> to a portal, believe- man? <laughs> yeah. Like Power Rangers does so poorly with like setting up continuity with space and vacuums. Oh. There was that one scene in in space where Carlos took that girl on a, a joy ride oh, on his little like, yeah. yeah glider <laughs> yeah, through space, yeah. and I'm like, is that wind blowing through her face and hair? What is that? <laughs> the only thing there, I, like, I see the green screen behind you. <laughs> the only thing I could think of it would be like solar wind, but then like wouldn't there be like radiation <laughs> to that or something? That that girl is 100 percent cancer at the end of this she <laughs> that is episode. Full on cancer and not the astrological sign. Man. You know what? If she we was any more cancer, time. she would be Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh my god. You, know you need to take her to go get screened right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of interesting theories out there in the Power Rangers fandom from the shows, and uh, there's some. I will say this some, like, here now. There's some dumb ones. Too. A lot of those fan theories. A lot of them are terrible. Like, don't be um, wrong. Like, I I love the fan theories, but a lot of them are like, what? Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. oh, hey, Mac. Like they're like Mac's the most powerful Red Ranger. I'm like, hold on, hold on. First of no, all, he's they, not a real. He's not a real boy. At, second of all, who said yeah. that? Second of all, he's a Pinocchio. Magic Come beats on. technology every day of the week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got, the next season with freaking Mystic Force, and they can just dial numbers, do whatever they want with it. Like I'm pretty sure that could that could beat anyone. Yeah. Like, don't get that bullshit. Mac's not the strongest. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the seasons that had cell phones as morphers. What was their cell phone plan to connect them to the grid? Was it like grid one or something like that? Or I'm t- right. it, it was Cranston right. Wireless, man. Cranston Wireless. We are we are we are, sp- we are proudly sponsored by Cranston Wireless. And Alpha's Zalpha's helmet cream. <laughs> Who's running customer <laughs> and, service and... for Cranston Tech? Alpha. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I oh hey um. You ever seen the show Hasbro Hotel or uh, yeah. Hell of a Boss? Uh, Moxie is the voice of Alpha. Oh. Oh. The yeah. more you know. Well, wow. G.I. Joe, know. half knowing he's at the battle. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there and I was like, Moxie sounds very familiar. Hold on. I know he's like, he's he's from uh, Psychonauts. If you have the thing, I looked it up. I'm like, oh, he, he did freaking Alpha. All right. Fair enough. This yeah. makes sense. Okay. You win. <laughs> Yeah, that's like they said about Invader Zen. They said he sounds like Alpha. Oh my God! Here well, we go. <laughs> well, yeah. In fact, you be he surprised. Knew here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Actually, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. Um. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Let's wrap this up. You were gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm done do now. Come on. I don't want to talk about yeah. this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, I have to. I, I have to give it a five. So. Yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ugh, oh I'm to start boy! This tonight, or at least trying to. Well, thanks again, everyone, for listening to this episode of Zeo to Hero, where we drew, drew a plan. We drew crayons. this out for far too long. Drew, Come on, get it, it right. For t- got him, got him, got him good. Normally, I'm really good with these puns. Like, I'm like really quick with it with these things, but I don't know what's going on. If it's, you know what, I don't know. I'll just okay. All right. Ah!
<laughs> so, you know what? Oh, Ton, where can people find you? Yeah. yeah. They can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and sometimes Tumblr at. <laughs> Sorry, that's. Cut that out. It me, Ton, period. <laughs> okay. I'm so okay. used to plugging my um. website. <laughs> <laughs> all, well, you, you know, you can plug it all you want because you know, no personal plugs here. It's all good. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we, we actually uh, we own the domain for nopersonalplugs.com dot <laughs> com. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it directs you right <laughs> to us. Yeah. Bye. Uh, also, um, if uh, if you like Boulder's Gate, she has a really cool Boulder's Gate little setup. Uh, are you playing the game mm-hmm. right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Game is great. Uh yeah, it's like a little Tamagotchi. Like I saw I saw your TikTok for it and I was like, I really want a set because they look adorable. And Goose Astarian, look that up, it's great. Uh if you go and find us anywhere, it's Zero to Hero. <laughs> yeah. Those of them that are confused, like what the hell is Goose Astarian? Goose yeah. Starian, buddy. Goose What's Starian. a Tamagotchi? No, just... <laughs> oh no, you're you're a ninety you have to know. Yeah, I got I know. I'm you, just you messing, should know guys. exactly what that is. Come on! No, he's not. He's dumb. He's real dumb. You know, if you want to help support his uh, his ability, his learning to read, you make sure you reach out to at zero dot com and donate <laughs> some money to the Help Billy Read Foundation. Oh. What what is it on? Uh, what's the what's it off Zoolander? He's like the the huh. school for the not really good reading kids. Yes, <laughs> the, yes. The, kid, the school for the kids who can't read go good. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. Well. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, Ton, for joining us and ha- sharing some laughs and me horribly failing at puns. So, I'm sorry, really guys. You today, I will, I will sobuku. Uh, was it sodoku myself later with numbers? You know. <laughs> Jesus, you get it. Get you out get of here. Cut the show. Cut the show. Cut get it right get now. It. Do you want to be a hero, but you're not? Do you want to be a Jiro or a Kojiro, but you can't because you're not Japanese? Have you considered Zio to Hero? Remember, heroes come and go. Idiots are for (laughs) Jubilee! Jubilee! Yeah. Hey, Craig. Hey. You know Craig? I definitely do. He's always there for every D&D game. Oh, don't even start on D and D. That's what Jim is. He does that. I am not into D and D. I'm enjoying a like the first sets of D and D. We're having because he he can't play D and D because he can't he can't match my level seventeen. Uh, what was it a long long hair troll? What'd you say? I don't know. I'll just make you, stuff I'm gonna let that joke die. <laughs> He's like, um, because... <laughs> there's no safe one. There isn't. <laughs> Oh. Just the, you can see the hamster spinning, uh, the wheel spinning, but the hamster's long is dead. Long dead. Oh, okay. I, I get that completely. It's okay. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we're, All we're, right, we're cool. Playing through, uh, we're playing through. We're playing through. Water is deep right now. Ah, uh, yes, great one, great one. Mm-hmm. Great. Time. Is that a uh, oh. <laughs> online game or what? No, Computer? no, it, it's 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 a book, and oh, the yeah, first, it's like different like. Dungeon- like that's yeah. Oh. You know, like the first dungeon you go through, there's a bunch of sleeping goblins, and so one of our uh, our, our rogue runs across, looks in the stairs, and she's like, "There's stairs down there," but she's in a cantrip <laughs> to say it. And then the other two people, they're like uh, a dragonborn and a half orc. They're sitting there staring, at her like what? <laughs> like screaming at her. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, breaking oh. the stealth completely. Get <laughs> completely gone. <laughs> and they're staring like the. F- Huh? Huh? <laughs> like stairs? Are you, oh my god! Why is water there? Completely rude. Well be going like we're right here, folks. Shoot right here. We're right yeah. here. <laughs> it's yeah. Hilarious. Well, hell, we'll help you ping our location. Sonar it. <laughs> Just follow the screams at that point. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the Zio to Hero podcast.